everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Spain. Today we'll share an update on the young blood plasma trial being run by Professor Goya. Professor Goya of the Institute of Biochemical Research in Argentina has been running a parallel experiment with Dr. Katch's E5 study to see if young blood plasma can extend the lifespan of rats. We are very grateful to Professor Goya for providing us an update on the latest progress of his experiment. In this video, we will provide the background of the experiment, the latest update from Professor Goya, and an interview clip from Professor Goya talking about the experiment. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing an update that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Let's quickly review the background to the experiment. Here is the document describing the trial as published from HEALS. This experiment is being run by Professor Goya and it started in November last year. It is to test the effects of young blood on older rats. In this case, the rats were 25 months when the experiment started, in November. This would be about 60 years for a human. The experiment will be to compare the survival of the rats when treated with injections of young blood plasma compared to that of the controls. The protocol that Professor Goya is following is to use 17 sprague dawley rats, eight of which are in the control group and will receive no special treatment, and nine of which will receive injections of young blood plasma every two weeks, which will continue until they die of natural causes. One thing I thought would be interesting is to look at how much as a percentage of the total plasma in the rat is being exchanged. Here we have a rough calculation. The average weight of a female sprague dawley rat is 300 grams, and all the rats that Professor Goya is using are female. Blood is about 7% of, of the body weight, and if we assume blood is about the same density as water, we can match grams to milliliters and get 21 milliliters in a rat. Blood is 55% plasma, the liquid part of blood after the cells have been removed, so the plasma in the blood is 11.55 milliliter. If we take the higher of the numbers for the treatment, 1 milliliter, this would give us 8.7% of the rat's plasma being added or exchanged. So what would this mean for a human? Note that this is just a calculation that I ran myself and is not meant to imply anything about what would be the appropriate dose. Here we have the amount of blood in adult men and women and based on the same calculation using an 8.7% fraction this would be 271 milliliters or 205 milliliters respectively. Let's go through the results from Professor Goya. Here is the Kaplan-Meier curves from the two groups, the control with white dots and the treatment with black dots. Two of the treatment group died quite early in the experiment from unknown causes, which made the group average not so good. However, over time we can see that the treatment group has outperformed the control group. Although the average lifespan of the treatment group has been extended, since our last update a further four of the treatment group have died. Let's quickly summarize the high-level numbers for the test so far. As we saw, at the start of the experiment there were 17 rats, 8 controls and 9 treatment, who were 25 months old. 6.8 months later, at 31.8 months of age, all but one of the controls had died, but 6 of the treatment group remained alive. Since the previous update, we can see that a further 4 of the treatment group have died, and only two remain. Professor Goya said that the rats seemed to be doing well until they died. In the lower table, we can see that so far the average lifespan of the control group is 29.8 months, whereas that of the treatment group is 32 months. This gives us a difference of 69 days, or 7.4%. This is a small but significant increase. We do not know whether the treatment will increase the maximum lifespan of the rats. According to Professor Goya, the average maximum lifespan of a sprague dawley rat is about 36 months, although females live longer than males, so we should know soon. I do want to make a correction here that in a previous video I said it was 38 months, but after confirming with Professor Goya, it should be 36 months. Here are some pictures of the rats, first from the previous update where we have the control and one of the surviving treatment group. It is quite easy to tell them apart. And another one from 31.8 months, where we can see all the treatment group look better than the control. 
so it's not related to a specific animal. Here is a more recent photo from 34.5 months of the surviving rats, two from the treatment group and the control in the middle. 34.5 months for a rat is about 86.5 years old for a human and the maximum of 36 months is about 90 years old. And all three of them again, the treatment group are looking older but still better than the control. So currently you're trying to, so you, you are running that an, a similar experiment right now and I to try to see whether the rats will live beyond their natural length, 3.8 years or something like that. Is that correct? Three, three, uh, uh, 36 months. This 36 is what the months, says. about three years. Yeah. Okay. So um, I was considering perhaps using, just to use something, to try something, young plasma, because there is a long story about the rejuvenating effects of young plasma and so on. I, I, I was not much of a believer in that really, but would, now that I was involved in, in elixir experiments, I said, well, I would like to try. And since I always have old rats in my, my laboratory, so, um, and did he also uh, came to know, to know that I have those rats? So he made this offer in parallel to me and to Harold. To me, to, he proposed to use a young plasma because it was the only thing, the more, uh, the closest thing I could use to elixir. Well, uh, and I say yes, because uh, he, he wanted to know really whether elixir works or doesn't work. And it is true that uh, if, the, if a preparation prolongs significantly, significantly the life of, say, a rodent, this is a proof that cannot be, is, is a proof that cannot be uh, contested in, in any way, because it's something, a, a whole process. So if you live longer, Na nature science cannot say, well, no, let's check this, die, then go and check this. It'll live nine months longer. That's it. So whatever I fail to miss, the animals is just are assuming that this is the case. None live nine months, nine months longer than the control. So that's it. That's it. So everybody in a property will believe that. And there is no problem. And of course, the other important thing is that you make available your preparation to anyone that want independently to repeat your results. Because if pe in the people cannot independently repeat your results, mm. doubts will always emerge. This is what happened with uh, animal cloning. This is what happened with Yamanaka studies. Everybody could repeat the experiment. So everybody was sure that there was a reality. And the same will have to happen with elixir at some time with any other thing. The same applies to the convoys and to other people. But uh, so uh, I think that the experiment will not uh, succeed. Uh, uh, um, Didier thinks the same, but there is nothing lost, not, nothing to be lost. I mean, at least we will know with certainty that at least the young plasma doesn't prolong significantly the life of the animal. Uh, we are measuring some things in the animals too, but the more, the more important parameter will be longevity. It does seem that the treatment has increased the average lifespan, though obviously we need to wait for Professor Goya's official write-up. Whether it will help with the maximum lifespan is still unknown, or indeed whether the remaining rat has longevity genes and manages to live the longest. I hope that you found the video informative please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon. <music>